So today I'm on location where not only do I get to have delicious sandwiches and sweet treats, but I get to speak with Joey first from Patisserie Saint Martin. Thank you very much for having us. No problem at all. Everything here looks absolutely delicious. Can you give me a little background on Patisserie Saint Martin? How yeah. long it's been around? Yes, Patisserie Saint Martin has been around for 30 years. I've been around for a long time. I used to. Uh, I started it with my dad when I was 12. Then I went on my own when I was 20. I, that's my first place I opened up as a Montreal North. Then I moved to Laval, and since then I've been in Laval for 30 years. It's going to be my 30th anniversary this year. Congratulations and, to uh, that. It's, it's a long way. It's a long way. So 30 years in the business, what type of feedback have you had from your customers? Oh, the customers really love us. The customers, uh, they appreciate us, they love us, they, like, they love our food. They always uh, come back for more. I mean, that's a very good thing. Here you have uh, chairs and tables that people can come in. I'm sure yeah. you have regulars that come. Us, we have regulars every day. We serve food. We have a full lunch at lunchtime. Uh, we serve uh, uh, hot meals. We have uh, pizza, sandwiches, anything you want, salads. So some of these platters that are here in front of us, is this what would be taken to a brunch or a buffet? Yeah, this is what we do for, uh, usually this is our catering food for, uh, the, we do weddings, we do uh, parties, all kinds, all sorts of parties, anything you want. So this is what we would see there. And right in the middle you have your showstopper, you have your number one cannoli. It was rated number one in all of Montreal. You were in the contest last year. Congratulations yeah. for that. Thank you very much. How did that come about? Yeah, last year there was a contest in uh, Little Italy, so they called us up, so we uh, applied for the contest. And uh, I was supposed to go there Sunday, but I couldn't make it, something happened. But I send the, the guy who makes the cannoli. The guy who makes the cannoli is my uncle. He's 75 years old. Mm -hmm. he, he, makes my, he makes the cannolis with my uncle's recipe. Okay. And uh, you're going to share that recipe with us so we can all make uh, them at home, right? You know what? I don't think my dad would be too happy to share that recipe. Mm. He wouldn't like that. So we have to come and buy them and eat them. You got to come and buy them and eat them. And uh, maybe, you know what? Maybe you should talk to my father. Maybe he'll give you the recipe. <laughs> maybe he will. So here you have an abundance of choices, an abundance of platters. How does a bride and groom choose which ones they want to have at their event? Listen, the best the best solution here, you know what it is? I can take care. I usually take the orders too, but my sister is the best in this. So I think you should meet my sister. So she's the one that's going to meet with the couples? Yes, she will. So let's meet her next. Okay. So now I have the absolute pleasure of speaking with Maria. Thank you so much for having us in your store. Thank you, Rebecca, for being here. Well, I'm excited. All these delicious treats we get to try. Yep. Joey tells me that you're more about the business end. So can you give me a little background on your role in the company? Yes. First of all, I manage the store. And secondly, I help plan catering events for different occasions. Example, a religious event like baptism, communions, confirmation, corporate events parties and of course my favorite weddings. Your favorite is weddings. Yes. Tell me what is it that you provide on the wedding day for the couple? The first step is I meet with the bride and groom and the family like the parents and we help them with their pre-wedding catering events like the buffet at home. And that know. can actually take many steps can't it? Yes. What does it first start off with that day? Well the morning, very early morning, you know how the bride and her bridesmaids get together at the house and do their hair and their makeup. So we go there with an early breakfast which consists of different platters. What would I see on that platter? Uh, little bagels with mascarpone and salmon, some uh, fruit platters, some cheese, some vinoiserie like croissant, danishes, yes, a little bit like that. So that's something they could also take to the salon with them if of that's course. what they're getting ready? Of course. And then after that, they head back to the house. Right. And then the guests, like the family and the closest friends, go to the house before the church. So we go back there with a brunch lunch buffet. What would be on the brunch buffet? Prosciutto, melone, bocconcini would be one, mm. a smoked salmon platter, different canapes, my mom's recipe of mini arancini, which are very popular for us, sandwiches, little wraps, and of course, our cannolis. Mm, the mini cannolis, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. And it doesn't stop there. How do you guys go above and beyond for the bride and groom that day? Well, I personally trained some servers where we go to the house, we help set up, we help with the guests, so we serve the guests with our food and with our special mimosa drink, which mm. is an orange champagne and a little strawberry. And then we clean up. So basically we take care of everything. We give that personalized touch service. Mm. And being Italian, you're making sure everybody's eating all the yeah, time. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then you send them on their way. Right. What do you send them with? A little cooler, because between church and the reception hall, there's a couple of hours where they go take the, the bride, groom, and bridal party go take pictures. Well, we prepare them a little cooler with little snacks so they can snack on. 
because they might get hungry and we need to take care of that stomach, right? I think that's genius. It's not, did I eat? Can I eat? If got right. it in the cooler, they can really have a moment together and enjoy the food. Right. And now you're not just known for your cannolis. There's other products that you offer. Can you tell me a bit of those? Well, we offer, of course, our wedding cakes mm -hmm. and a sweet table. Like we do midnight sweet tables at the reception halls with different a variety of cakes, or cookies. Okay, but how does a bride and groom start to choose what they're going to have at their sweet table or for the event? Well, we make they make an appointment. They come to the store. We sit down. We discuss the different flavors of wedding cake. And not only do we discuss the different flavors, but the, they actually go home with four little cakes with the flavors, so they get to taste their cakes before they order the cake. Do they have to share? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Okay. With family and friends, I think they should. Okay. They taste those, and then they come back with more creations. Right. They, they could actually ch choose their type, order it, and they got to try it, and then they come with their picture. We'll personalize their dream wedding cake, and uh, then our chef takes over. Well, I'm excited to meet with Eric. He's going to tell us a little bit about that, isn't yes, he? Yes, he will. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Thank you. So now Maria sent me over to speak with Eric, the head pastry chef at Patisserie Saint Martin. Thank you so much for meeting with us. Thank you to be here. This looks just as delicious as before. Tell me, what is your role here in the company? I'm the head pastry chef, and uh, with my team, we create whatever the customer wants. So it's not just you that's doing all this. How many people are in your team? We're 12. And is everybody specialized in their own unique thing, or does everyone all work together? Well, everybody's complete as a baker but they all have their specialty, yeah. What is your favorite thing to create? Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that's nice to create. Miniatures, because every bite is a ex ex explosive of a flavor. Mm -hmm. Masterpiece like this is always interesting to do because it's a challenge. And we really want to uh, create the best masterpiece for the for, for our bride and groom. Mm -hmm. So let's go back. How, when did you first start baking? It was in 1990. I went to school. I went to uh, uh, Institut du Tourisme et d'Hôtellerie du Québec. Mm -hmm. I studied three years and then just keep on going. And here at St. Martin, how long have you been creating? Three years already. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in the 28 years that you've been making cakes, you've not only seen things change, but you may have had challenges of brides and grooms coming to you. What things have they asked for that you've had to learn? The sugar lace. The sugar lace is something that we, we were not working with and uh, we had to learn. So we studied, practice, and then... Make it beautiful. Make it beautiful, yeah. Wonderful. So not just on the outside of the cakes or the appearance, the sizes, also the inside, the things that you make can change. People have sensitivities now. How have you seen that? The gluten-free cake is one of them. Um, milk. Mm -hmm. the milk, uh, milk allergies. Milk allergies. Sensitivities. Eggs allergy. Mm -hmm. And you said being, this is almost a chemistry as you baking, you have to have the right ingredients. That must be tough to still get the flavor. Yeah, it, baking is really a scientific art. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's not always easy, but we love what we're doing. So as you can see in these little cakes that you made, or the little cookies, it's really detailed, it's really personal. You've also seen that in cakes where people want something that's different. Yeah, we've seen uh, people coming up uh, with a Louis Vuitton purse made in 3D. We got cars, we got animals. Uh, so that's something that could maybe be at a bridal party or beforehand and really put in a personality. Yeah. That's yes. wonderful, and your team can do that. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Everything looks delicious. I can't wait to eat it. When you go to the Showcase Wedding website, click on the link for Patisserie Saint Martin and let them start creating for you.